everyone, Crafty Lady Etta. Welcome, all my new subscribers and all my uh, longtime subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I love all of you. I appreciate all of you. And I work really hard to try to give you all something really good for you to try on a budget. Now, I, I, what I wanted to tell you is we're going to be doing a really cool, awesome project. I hope you like it. It's an idea that I had. So, if you like what I do, please subscribe, tap that notification bell, and YouTube will notify you of any and all upcoming videos, and share. Okay, let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Crafty Lady Edda. Uh, today I'm gonna show you two projects to do with blue jeans using a tin can, because you're gonna need a tin can any size. You're gonna need four dowels. Um, these are gonna be the legs. You're gonna need some jute string, because we're gonna make a top for the can. And you're gonna need some kind of a button or anything. This came off of a pair of old jeans. I like to recycle a lot. So I'm gonna use this as a button. Um, you're also going to I said you need jute string. You're going to need some blue jeans. You're going to need two picture frames, okay? And just uh, a couple of pairs of blue jeans, any color you want. I'm going to show you how to make uh, a couple of picture frames. Okay, first of all, we're going to do this one, okay? Now, let's begin. What I did was I went ahead, let me see, was it this one? It was this one. Yeah, okay. I went ahead and cut a pair of blue jeans up, a lake, and I went ahead and got a ruler and a white marker or chalk marker, and I went ahead and just drew the lines the size of this because we're going to use this to wrap around this, okay? All right. Let me go ahead and cut these up. Okay, I cut a few of these up, okay? Um, what we're going to do, um, I just got some old picture frames that I had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just wrap it about right here, up to here. And you're just gonna keep wrapping. Let me see. Yeah, that's pretty good. What I'm doing is I'm just going across here. Apparently I will cover this, but at the end. So I'm just putting hot glue and I'm doing it this way, okay? And then we'll cover this in a little while. 
But yeah, and then you can make a pretty bowl to put over here with a nice picture. You know, you can fix it up however you want. How there's like some spot you can cover it up with some little pieces of blue jean and then this part just cut it this way and this way I just got a random picture out of a magazine because uh, I don't want to, my family members don't like it when I put uh, pictures of them on the internet so I'm going to respect that and I could put pictures of myself but I thought I you know just so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, I could put embroidery but I think I want to do this instead famous jute string bow. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm just going to grab it and just uh, wrap it around however many times you want it, however thick you want it. This is the first project. Look how super cute that came out. Okay, let's start on the second one. This photo frame is going to be a little bit different. Um, I've had this in my stash for a long time. I have bought this a uh, package. That one's on sale. I think it came like four or five ninety nine, but I got them at fifty percent off. This is a four by six. At Hobby Lobby. Uh, usually when I go to Hobby Lobby, I'm always, uh, 
I'm always looking for sales and specials, and I go to the clearance section, I look for things. And, uh, yeah. With this project, I just used the old frames that I already had, okay? So with this project, I'm going to use these. These came off a jean. This is a loop. Or you can use these corners. However you want to do it. I'm going to get it. I'm just going to do it like this. But before I do that, I'm going to get some blue jeans. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap it all the way around. Let me show you. cut a long strip. All I'm doing is covering it. Try to make sure this is on the very edge in the Okay guys, now that I've covered it, now I'm gonna add this to it, this way, okay?
looks. I put a picture in there. Now I'm going to put some white jute twine that I bought at Walmart um, on here. And uh, yeah. Well And I'm also going to add some jute string to it. It's not just going to be this one. Okay, guys, here's the second one. I just put some buttons. And uh, I just ate the bowl the same way I did the first one. And you can put whatever embellishment you want on here. Um, and I picked, I just picked a, p a random pitch out of the magazine. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Okay, let's get on to our third project. Okay guys, this is the final project. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna go ahead and make, hold on. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and paint all these white. The bottom, I'm just gonna paint it white. I'm not going to, uh, chalk paint instead guys. Chalk paint really seems to cover it really well. inside of the can and up here just on top okay guys I went ahead and painted it inside and I put a blue jean at the bottom now I'm going to I pre-cut this cloth to put it on here okay you hot glowing it until you get to the end. You might have to pull a little bit. This is a stretchy type of uh, blue jean, so the good thing about it is you can pull it and it'll stretch.
Okay, I'm, I'm making three rounds around here. And I'm using this. This is a spatula that I use. going to make the lid. We're going to do it in a spiral. Okay, starting here in the middle. going around in a coil. It's going to be the lid, okay? You guys, this is how it's turning out, okay? Just keep rolling it and rolling it in a circular motion. Okay, guys, I went ahead and I, I did this double to make it sturdy. Now I'm going to put the button here. It's going to be a handle actually. This is how it's turning out so far. I think it's coming out really neat. I like it. You can make beautiful things with, with recyclable stuff. See, and then we just we just put it. That's all it is. It's just a, a can that you can put whatever you want in there. Here's the finished product. I thought they came out super cute. Now, I did use pictures from magazines because uh, my family members don't want me to put any pictures in there, put them on YouTube, so I'm going to respect their wishes. 
So I just picked some random photos out of the magazine so you could see what the picture frames look like with some kind of picture in there. <laughs> um, I did like the way this one came out except the string. Well, anyway, if you like what I do, please subscribe, tap that notification bell, and YouTube will notify you of any null upcoming videos and share. I also wanted to show you what it looks like inside. And you can put, you can use this for anything you want. I'll probably just use the, I don't know, maybe just for decoration or put something in there. Okay, well, just remember, keep on crafting. Until next video, bye. <laughs>